Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Training Partners along with Bob Iacchino. Thanks for all the people who volunteered to help me. Let me know if Tesla chart charts or videos weren't going up or if anything else seems wrong with the channel. By the way, Dave, who contacted me to buy me coffee, please, uh, please email me, okay? Uh, I can't respond to that directly on a public forum so just email me okay so yes this is still a potential double top today's price action did not change that but it is still holding the daily rotation zone key area is still as low 7 uh 63 let's get uh, 59 and we have the rising daily rotation zone closing in on that because against the daily rotation zone, the probabilities do drop. But if this rotation zone gets above it, the probabilities actually increase if it does trigger. Again, it has not triggered yet, so these levels below don't mean anything. The double levels, that is, don't mean anything until it triggers. I want to let everybody know that because I get messages. Does this mean you're bearish? No, I'm bearish if we get a close and trigger the double. Uh, through the bottom of the double targets and the upward sloping channel. Okay, but that's only if it triggers. I'm waiting very, very patiently today. Uh, option volume, weekly option volume was, in terms of Tesla, was pathetic. It Nothing really showed up. So there's no point in talking about it. Uh, intraday, it was just a choppy, choppy mess. These are my least favorite kind of days. I mean, you can see the key resistance. Again, looking at candle bodies. Let me drop this down at this point. Because these are going to be the areas we're watching. See how that nicely captures it? You, again, using the candle bodies. I might have missed it a little there. Right about there. That And this little poke up, but a quick reversal. That stopping on it. That stopping on it. That pretty much stopping real quick. That not even getting there. So that's a key level. 785.50. That's the first thing I'd watch on a rally. We had this little double top. Uh, we gapped down below it today. So that was fulfilled. And then everything else. Could not get a close. This is the five-minute chart, and that's pretty much unless we have major momentum and I have to go down to use a pausing bar like on a one- or three-minute time frame. I generally don't go any shorter than a five-minute time frame, uh, especially for closing prices. So we dip down below that 744.40, immediately closing right above it. So you can see also the key support. Use these techniques. Let me move this down. And look at that. Use the candle body techniques, and give me put some stuff in the comments with what you think of some of these, uh, some of this instruction, some of these uh, techniques I utilize. I've been doing this for a long, long time, but you know, a lot of people don't really focus on the candle bodies, and they miss a lot of these key levels that are staring people in the face. So learn to use these. Uh, okay. What else? So this pretty much defines it. I mean, this we've had, what, a couple days now of price action really caught in this range. Let's see when it drop into this range. Yesterday, uh, yesterday morning on the 5th, and then it's roughly stayed in this range. So the downside, watching for a close below 775.30. The most aggressive would be a 5-minute. The a safer would be at least a 15-minute. On the upside, 785.50, again, close above that, uh, break out to the upside. And then what are we doing? Let me move these levels also. Let me adjust the levels. So we have, this is now going to a reverse GAN box, and I think this made it slightly high. Now it's going back to a forward GAN box. So the only difference between forward and reverse is whether it goes back in time or forward in time. This is going forward in time because it's a low at 9.05 to a high at uh, 10 o'clock. So that's going forward in time. And I have to move the levels down. So here we go. So above 7, uh, 85.50, I mean, you just have the natural, the high, but 
that's 786.50, but then the key level, 788.16, 78981. Then above that, I'm looking about 792.25. Then, let's see, let's see. I'll have to go to a longer chart. Then I'm looking right around. We have the upward sloping still uh, best fit channel line with this little resistance area. You can see right here again. You can focus on candle bodies. You can see the reactions there right around that area. So 795.30 area would be the next thing. And then above that, you have 800 and 803. Above that, 806, 818, 829. Those are all the levels to the upside. To the downside. 775.30 again closing below that. 773.25 is low today. But then we're watching 770.26 area, then 767.26. And then the really key major important low is coming in at this. Uh, let's go back to that daily. That daily low is coming in at 763.59. So, again, to reiterate, still this potential double top is in place. The area, again, game plan for tomorrow. Closings below 775.30 is at least short-term bearish mode. And we'd also, then, if we get a daily close below that, I'm watching to the pullback to test the lower end of the rotation zone and this key low from uh what day was that that was why darn uh october 1st above 785.50 we're then targeting the minor levels but major we get up to about 792.25 area then this key area above 795 which we've been getting lots of selling Again, 795 to 800 is very key. You see, still selling here, selling here. That didn't even make it up there. Key selling on the 4th, key selling on the 5th. And today was just this choppy, horrible mess of a day, but still holding the daily rotation zone. Four hour rotation zone. Uh, you can see it's held that on a closing basis, which is what's very key to watch. And that closing basis for the four hour is right around today's low 773.25 so you start getting up if you after your first four hour bar closes if we have a down day i would check it because if we get a close on a four hour below 773.25 i will then start getting more and more at least intraday bearish uh until i see some support or we retest these lows and then it will be reassessed at the price action near the lows from the first. I think that's a pretty comprehensive game plan. Again, thank you everyone uh, who supports the channel, who leaves some comments, likes, dislikes video, and anybody who's given a donation to keep the channel up and running with Patreon and or buy me a cup of coffee. Talk to everyone later. Bye for now.